What's up, everybody? We're getting a, uh, an evening evening edition of the, the vlog going. We've, uh, we've, for the night, closed up shop, and I figured we've done all the renovations, uh, lots of cleaning and organizing, so I figured why not show you guys how we set up our shop. Maybe you guys have shops back home that you go to, or somebody else will watch this and want to get some inspiration. We're pretty fired up on it. We like it. Uh, it makes it look uh, ultra cool and, and pretty awesome. So we've got toolboxes on all four sides that we store our spare parts in, in our, uh, our tools, our general shop tools, uh, anything that we do. Each guy has his own personal sets, but we also keep keep track. Oh, uh, we, won't, we won't show that. Uh, general, I like to keep things clean and organized. Um, but so everything that we need that we don't all all have our own sets of, uh, but that are generally a little bit more. Man, these, these drawers are <laughs> messy as all get out, fellas. Um, and then we've got stock on parts that we use on a regular basis. So here we've got BB30 uh, bottom brackets and press fit 30 bottom brackets with all the different cups and spacers and accessories we need, all pretty well organized. Um, we've got older style square taper stuff. We've got front derailers, so selection of master links and single speed chains. Try to try to get this pretty labeled. They eventually start to start to fall off a, a smidge, but they uh, they generally work pretty well. Uh, like if we come on over here. SRAM disc brake pads, matching with SRAM rotors, other brake pads, disc brake adapters, so all kinds of rim brake pads. And there's four of us that float through here, and so it sometimes gets to get a little bit reshuffled, uh, but we, uh, we generally keep it tight. All suspension stuff, but all suspension uh, space and seal kits and uh, o-rings and, and service kits which then match up with our our drawer for oils um, for rock shock fox this is all suspension this is all bleed stuff and we have bleed kits for each individual setup so we've got avid box here avid and strand brakes every every company out there that we need bleed kits for we've got a suspension specific vice here so we can do we've got uh, soft jaws, we've got towels at our fingertips, uh, we keep all the shavings and you know particulate and stuff away from this so it's strictly just for suspension, just keep it clean. So service wheels here, back up and back stock of uh, less expensive tires. If we ever need to bust out the air hammer, we don't use this on bikes. Came with our air compressor, you gotta keep it. Um, massive metal bench, it took about 10 dudes to carry this in when we opened up and we got it in here, big old pipe in the back, nice little backstop, pretty awesome. Nothing will, uh, nothing will penetrate this sucker. Each station has its own air compressor hose as well. So we've got setups for, for Presta and Schrader. We've got spray guns, little hooks. Short hoses work really well. Back on this side, the like MTV crib style is like. All the numbers, but we've got bikes to be done, to be serviced and then in theory, bikes that are finished. But as we get busier, things start to, we don't always have enough spots for the inbound and outbound. So that's where the numbers come in really nicely. We can go in our system, put in slot 45 is this customer's bike. It's easy to find. We don't have to waste time searching and hunting. So that's the dirty side of the shop. Um, so we've got a vice here. We do all of our cutting on, um, cutting steer tubes, handlebars, whatever it may be. And uh, you know, little pieces and pedal washers and little things you don't have quick access to. Every little thing from you know cone washers to uh, little bleed ports, little things that you never know you might need. Every frame part for specialized products that we can get. We have uh, spare backups on, a little frame fittings, all that kind of stuff. Compressor in the back. The compressor is here. It's pumped up through the through the setup. Comes back out here and our steel pipe down to the bench. Contract with Courtney, you guys have seen before, uh, he was super fired up on that. Pretty simple, organized, straightforward shop. We don't find ourselves tripping over each other too much. We, I feel like we run it pretty clean. It's, we've got two on that side, two stands on this side. That's generally where I work, where Richard works. Nick works here, and then we've got an extra one for uh, services that are coming in that we do quick run-throughs on or uh, anytime we need to have an extra stand. And then if we get super busy, like at Christmas time, we come over here, I generally get stuck in the corner, a fifth stand here, um, in case we need to use that as well. So hopefully you guys like it. If you, uh, if you do, give it a thumbs up. 
or uh, leave a comment below. Hopefully there's some inspiration for your, your home man cave or, or your shop if you've got one. So it's never perfect. Um, there's always things I'm trying to work on and improve, but it's a little bit of the tour that we can uh, that we can show you. Tomorrow we're gonna uh, we're gonna be hopping on a flight. I don't know a lot of detail yet. I can't sh I can't tell a lot because um, I don't really know what's gonna be happening. But we're going to Colorado, so I'm gonna bring you guys as much along as you can. We're gonna be putting up a video every day, if at least nothing else. Um, so I don't know what uh, what it will entail. But we'll be back Monday morning. So fun trip, Colorado. Here we come. Thanks guys, over and out, we'll see you tomorrow, peace.